Hey everybody, Ken the Jeep Guy with just a short presentation today. We're getting ready for some Jeep runs this summer and I think we're going to go with our Jeep Club on a Western Nevada ghost town excursion. Our CB radio has not been working for the longest time. It's very frustrating. When we first got it, it worked a little bit, but it hasn't been working since. So I have just a standard CB Uniden. Um, no big deal, nothing special about it, nothing fancy about it. Had it put in by a professional sound shop here in town. They do a great job with audio, and uh, they put a new Alpine head unit in. I love it. My Gaia maps go right on it, and it's wonderful for off-trail. But it's frustrating not to be able to use my CB radio. Honestly, most of the Jeep people that we hang with don't use CB anymore, but I've got the thing in the Jeep, and I want it to be able to work. By the way, if things look uh, skew, it's because I had to move my roof forward about six inches to get down to this corner. It'll be back to normal in just a few. But this is where the CB radio antenna was mounted by the professional shop, okay? Great. It was in the back. It was an awesome place. It was out of the way. Uh, when I decided to move it, by the way, I found out that the... <laughs> yeah. You ever do stuff like that? All right, let's pick it up and we'll be right back with you. He's laughing at me. Good one. Yeah, good one, thanks. You ever have people at home laugh at you when you do stuff like this? All right. Put all the crap back in there, who cares? Don't let Bobby go see me just piling stuff. All right, back to it. The, uh, my helper helped pick all those up, so it's great I get to organize it tonight. Uh, after dinner but anyway so this is a fine place looks like a fine place to mount an antenna uh, it's out of the way it's in the rear of the vehicle but when I close my spare tire carrier the antenna happened to be by this big metal jack which I think I had at the time that the antenna was installed well I used to be in radio broadcasting know a little bit about engineering plus what I've read online this big metal thing absorbed so much, this is my theory now, absorbed so much of the CB energy that there was only about 12 inches of CB antenna at the top that was actually giving out signal. So I decided to move the CB antenna to the other side of my spare tire carrier away from the high lift jack, away from anything else which could possibly interfere with it. I am going to assume that this short little third brake light thing is not going to do much damage to it. There's something else that I've read online, and that is that mounting to a spare tire carrier doesn't give you a very good ground for CB antennas. Because most of these, and I think my Smitty build is this way, most of these have a nylon bushing so that this is a smooth action. And, and then you do not have a ground here. So I have gone ahead and while I reworked my coax cable, repositioned it so that I had more coming out the back end, I also hooked up a, uh, a ground wire. And the ground wire comes right up here actually to the mounting for my CB antenna base. I have these extra wires, the coax cable and the ground hanging down. I'll use cable ties and hang that up. If you would have an installation where you have a lot of extra coaxial cable, they recommend that it be in a figure eight, kind of a long figure eight, somewhere near the middle of the cable. And you can look online and find some great experts to talk about how to get the most out of your CB radio. All right, so it's time for trial here. I have this set on, I just set this to channel 10. And uh, let's see, adjust to the squelch. So this is the trial now because before I made these changes, you couldn't hear a thing on it, all right? Now I realize that my pickup truck is parked right next to it, so this is part A test. Would you help me? I'm gonna go around the corner and try how well the reception is when I go around the corner with the truck. Would you help me with that? Uh, what about this? I'm not even showing that. Okay, uh, She's sure. She's because she, she had some uh, crystal light red punch and it stained her top but I'm not even showing that. It's all edited out. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. I have a little handheld in it. Oh, hush up. Hush up there, Squelch. All right, I've got this little handheld unit and uh, just plugged into the cigarette lighter 
and we'll see how well it works as I go around the block. All right, let's do a mic check. Are you reading me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a yes? Uh -huh. All right, thank you so much. Let's go around the block and see how it works. All right, and our CB radios don't reach very far, but the other day we couldn't talk to each other when we were next to each other. So I figure if we go around the block and the CB is working with all these pine trees. Yep, so far so good. It's gonna be a good trial. Well, considering that the other day we couldn't hear each other next to each other, I think this is going to be pretty good. Okay. I mean, there's no high hill in between us here, but there's lots of trees, and uh, that could block signal, I guess. And we'll see how it works just when we're around the next block, at least. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, you know, staticky and, and faint, but I can make out your words. And, uh, you know, CBs are not the greatest, but this way on the trail, if we're within a few blocks of each other, we could at least hear each other. A lot of static. Well, this little handheld unit, I don't know how much power it has. I'll have to look up the specs on it. But I will say at least it shows that whereas before the base unit was not getting out at all, receiving or transmitting, by changing the antenna on the Jeep base unit, it is definitely getting out. So you were having trouble hearing me off this little handheld unit, but I heard you loud and clear from the base unit. Roger that. Let's look over the top here. Um, just zip tied extra coax and grounding wire to stuff I already had. It comes in the tailgate area here, zip tied it. I have it kind of tucked in along the trim in the back. This one has the subwoofer cabinet. Doesn't matter. I think they'd all be pretty similar. And then we have a plastic trim piece that just clicks into here. Fits up and it clicks in. So that's what we got for you today. We have moved the CB antenna from being next to an absorbing source of CB energy away to its own area. And we got also a, a ground wire. So we're definitely got grounding to this and we have dramatically improved performance. Hey everybody, this is Ariel the Jeep Dog. Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. <laughs>